needs Tinder when you've got a $2 notebook from Kmart and a ballpoint pen? Hello users of the internet and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 860 subscribers, then welcome back. And if you're not, the fact that I'm making this video kind of proves that I'm a psychopath, so that's completely fair enough. Obviously the Christmas season is fast approaching. I am just getting more and more excited to spend it with some family and friends and that's it because they're the only people I have in my life. I recently watched the Netflix original series Dash and Lily which was iconic, definitely would recommend. It was obviously for entertainment purposes but really for me it was a thought provoking piece of media. It really got me thinking. If I don't want to sit here holed up in my room alone for the rest of my life I I need to go out, I need to be bold, I need to be quirky and creative and try and find myself a significant other to spend the holiday season with. So I've been here brainstorming for a little while thinking how can I nab the one? What can I do to put myself out there in a creative way just like Lily did in Dash and Lily? And then it occurred to me why not just completely rip off the show and do exactly what she did? Which was to write a coded message inside a notebook, leave it in a bookstore and hope that someone would pick it up, read it, be bothered enough to decode the message, and be an absolute perfect match who wasn't a pedophile. So I'm gonna follow that foolproof system. I have decided today to make my own little quirky notebook inspired by the series. Plant it in a bookstore in Leichhardt and hope that someone, literally anyone, stumbles across it and decides to look inside. So without further ado, here is my best effort to fill myself with the Christmas spirit and really really poorly imitate the plot of a Netflix original series. Enjoy. Imagine this. You're in a completely random but conveniently closed bookstore, scanning the shelf where your favourite books reside and there, nestled between the familiar spines, sits a rose-coloured notebook because Kmart was sold out of red ones. Imagine you're in Sydney's inner west and it's Christmas. You're surrounded by people at a safe 1.5 meter distance and the hope that somewhere in the city is that one person that's meant for you. Do you dare? I've left some clues for you. If you want them, turn the page. If you don't, put the book back on the shelf. So you've chosen to play. A revealing choice. Shall we begin? A coded message. You can decipher it with the right books. Number one, this first book is for idiots with a desire to improve. One of a series of many, this particular volume is geared towards those wanting to communicate in the world's most populated country. The first word of the book title is the first word of this message. Number two, prepare to cook up a storm. From a MasterChef Australia alum comes this oriental at-home guide released in May of this year. The singular version of what this book is all about also acts as my message's second word. Number three. This Celtic tale is the recipient of the 2004 Stonewall Book Award. The title's second word is the final word of this message. If you have successfully cracked the code, you have been gifted the name of my favourite food place in Sydney, nay, the world. You're welcome. If you've come this far, you've obviously got an embarrassing amount of time on your hands, which means we have at least one thing in common. But the real question is, are we culinarily compatible? Go to this superior dining institution, order a half serve of the steamed eggplant dumplings and allow them to change your life. Photos are it didn't happen. If you're a fan, you've passed this first test and earned yourself a page turn. That was in fact my only requirement for a boyfriend. I guess I really do be desperate. So that officially means we're soulmates. Congratulations, you found a wife. To claim her, include a printout of your dumpling feast below, create your own coded message, and hand this book in to the lost and found at Yvette Cinemas Burwood because that is where I take myself to the movies alone at least twice a week. See you at the wedding. That's all I have for you. The seed has been planted. Will it be successful? Who knows? Actually me, I know. It's not gonna be successful because this does not work in real life. If you enjoyed watching my sad attempt to find a boyfriend this Christmas season, then please thumbs up and subscribe. And if you didn't, because I'm insane and also completely derivative, then just do it anyway. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Bye. I hate myself.